My name's Morgan, and today I'm making a clamp rack with my Onefinity Journeyman CNC. For the last few months I've been setting up my new home shop, and the clamp rack was pretty low on the priority list, so they've just been going from leaning up against one wall to another. So it's time to get them off the floor. It's made up of just four pieces, with no fancy joinery, all cut by your machine. Simple as this project is, it seems like a good opportunity to talk about cutting joinery for mating parts on the CNC. Before I get too far into this, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what I'm talking about. This right here. A digital caliper. So our instinct when designing things or programming operations for the CNC is to default to just known, normal, common measurements when setting up our job parameters. When cutting joinery for multiple mating parts, thousands matter. VCAR files with pre-programmed toolpaths as well as SVGs and DXFs are all going to be available for free for Onefinity users on the user forum. We'll put a link in the description. I'm going to run through this quickly, but here's the painfully simple process. First, measure the actual thickness of your material with a caliper and design your toolpaths with that in mind. Save the G-code, load it up, and cut the dang thing. Once you've got all four parts cut out, separate it from the tabs, and clean it up with a flush trim bit. Glue and clamp up the four parts together, and after the glue's dry, put in some screws to add string. Yeah, screws. It's a shop project. Whatever. Then figure out where you want to mount this thing, find some studs, and screw the dang thing to the wall. Load it up with clamps, and give yourself a big old pat on the back. Congratulations. And that's it. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did find it helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any more helpful tidbits to help you be successful with your CNC. I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good.